In this how-to video I'm going to show you how to set up logging for a website in IIS on a Windows 2008 R2 server. So first thing we're going to want to do is open up, open up Internet Information Services Manager in the uh, Administrative Tools option and then from here we'll double click on our server and then we'll double click on logging. So here we have several options to choose from. First thing is one log file per we can either choose per website or per server. The per server would choose all websites go into one file. The per site, per site is if you have multiple sites you'll have a different log file for each site. If you have many many websites it's simpler to troubleshoot if you do it per site. From here we have the log file format. W3C is the standard although you can change to other formats. This is the most easily accepted and when you click on the fields these fields are already mapped up for that for format and there's lots of different options here that we can have in the login fields. If you don't need this many things checked you can uncheck them here. From here we choose the directory where the log files are. By default they're wherever the Windows operating system is installed. In this case system drive stands for the C colon backslash Windows location. We can change that if we choose and we can go ahead and choose the folder of our choice. After that we have the encoding which by default is UTF-8. You could also choose ANSI. Some programs that do diagnostics and debugging require one or the other but UTF-8 is the most popular. And if we scroll down we have log file rollover. We can roll over those files daily or we can set a maximum size in bytes. So if it grows bigger than this it will overwrite with the newest information. We could also create or click the do not create new log file so it won't do any of the logging. And we can check the box or not for use local time for file naming and rollover so that way it's easier to find those files otherwise it's GMT time.